we got a problem. What? What is it? What do you mean, what is it? That ain't the right wife. Got all these rusty nail heads that need recalking. We need to caulk over them so when we paint them, they don't keep bleeding through. Yeah. And before the caulk dries, you need to be up there wiping it in. Okay, so I'm. Get the camera now. Okay, hold on a second. Getting it? Getting it. Doing good? I think so. Good little rainy day activity. Sort of freezing rainy day. We're just using latex caulk plus silicone. And then we have like white interior. Well, you can't really see because of all the mess we've made in the past, but white interior paint to put over that. Why do the nails always rust? Well, when you knock them in there, you knock the paint off of them, and then because we have the place sealed up for winter time, every time we cook and shower, it creates a steam bath. And then, as you can see on the windows over here, it rusts the nails because water and metal create rust. Well, why don't you just use a dehumidifier? Because I don't have one and they work off of electricity and that's something we don't have either. Yeah, we did try to use a dehumidifier in the past, like a small one that wouldn't pull too much of our solar, but it just like, it really didn't work. I'm gonna quit nagging. You're getting on to me about nagging? <laughs> yeah. Your middle name's nag. You didn't even know my middle name until like six months into the relationship, so. <laughs> Monkey. Monkey see, monkey do. It's not really so much of a problem in the summertime, obviously, because all of our doors and windows are open. But this time of year, it's really accelerated the rusting process on all of our nails. So still working on solutions to that. But for now, we are touching up. <sighs> Taking a breather. We got like, oh, there's one right there. Baby, you missed a spot. We got like 20 minutes for that to dry and then we can start painting. Brandon always likes to say that sailing is just working on your boat in exotic places, but I'm starting to see how boating in general is just working on your boat in beautiful places. <laughs> Boats always break constantly. Even a new boat, you have to work on it. That's a boat. You buy a brand new one, you're gonna work on it. You Just buy an how old it goes. one, you're probably gonna work on it more. <laughs> but no matter what, you're gonna work on them. And this isn't even really a boat. <laughs> it's a house that's living a boat life. It wants to be a boat. It's a house that wishes it was a boat. Has it been 20 minutes yet? Mm, sure, go paint. What about that spot you missed? It's fine, just paint over it. Actually, look, there's some stuff on the end of the gun. You can get it out. I can't reach it. Move! Get up! Get off of me! I think I nagged enough. You go there. We got a problem. What? What is it? What do you mean, what is it? That ain't the right white. Yes, it is. It's just dirty now. Well, then you have to paint the whole ceiling. You need a roller. You have to roll the whole thing. I mean, I knew that corner was particularly nasty looking because it's right over here by the stove where all the steam goes, or I think that's why. But I didn't realize it was like this whole ceiling. <laughs> this little like 20 minute paint touch up job is gonna become repainting the entire ceiling and house. <laughs> so I didn't really know what else to do. So I started just trying to at least paint that panel that we did the test on. I mean, that looks horrible. 
Like that somehow looks worse than it did before. I don't know if it's just my terrible painting skills. I'm really not happy with it. That's gonna need like three coats on this one coat guarantee primer and paint mixture we got going on, so it's pretty frustrating. And that's just for that one panel. That's assuming we don't paint all of them to match it. <laughs> Do That's that pretty in annoying. An hour with the right stuff, baby. And just letting it blow you up. Just let that dry. We'll look at it, and then we can coat it all again. We can roll it very fast. I mean, we're gonna have to like take out all of our furniture or cover everything up. You can't just like roll things on the ceiling, and it doesn't, you know, everything underneath it. I think we can. We'll see. Morning. Okay, so I've I've simmered down a little bit. <laughs> I'm starting to uh, get a better mental grasp on the game plan here. It definitely does need another coat. Um, at least this one panel does. Brandon is getting the roller so that I can get started on that while he goes to town to get us some more propane. We just ran out of propane. Hopefully these panels are not quite as discolored as that one is being over the stove and right by the door and everything. We'll see how it goes, um, but fingers crossed we just have to roller paint this first panel and the rest we can just proceed with our touch-up plan. Alright, I've just finished this side and I'm just comparing the two and it's it's pretty noticeable the difference between you know how this looks doing it with a trim brush versus with a roller which should be obvious we just didn't have a roller last night that's why I did it with the trim brush but I feel a lot better about this moving forward um, I'm gonna go over this with the roller now and I think it'll look a lot better hi what do you think oh much better. Yeah, right? And it matches too, huh? That's not so bad, huh? So, time to go check out the little nail heads and see if we can't just touch them up and be done. Look at Aiko. Living her best life. Okay. First go at painting one of the other panels here. I think we might get away with it. Yeah, when that dries, you won't be able to tell. Be fine. Maybe get in there where it's kind of dirty. Yeah. But it'll blend. You in. can tell the difference between those ones that I haven't done and that one. I mean, that looks a lot better, so. Okay, I just finished up, and that only took like 20 minutes, and I was able to touch everything up with a trim brush and just kind of blend it in and not really have to do any large amounts of painting. So I'm just so psyched about that. <laughs> it's the little things. You were right. I think it's great. <laughs> it's beautiful. You were totally right. It worked out just fine. In other news, it is a beautiful day out. So we're going to have ourselves a good rest of the day.